Hey everyone, so this is a quick look into AWS Amplify's new Flutter SDK. First thing we're gonna do is start a new Flutter project and we're gonna start up a Flutter application. That's gonna give us a basic Flutter app. Uh, the main thing we wanna do is install the dependencies that we're gonna need. So we're gonna to head to pulseback.yaml and then we're gonna install the Amplify packages that we want. So this is Amplify Core, Amplify Off Cognito, Amplify Storage. So those are the things that we wanna use and then I also need a file picker. Make sure to pub get when you get all these packages. This process actually sets up a config file, which we're gonna use later and import into our app. Before that, we should set up storage and authentication. And don't forget to push it up when you're done. While that's going, we can actually head to main again and import the packages we're gonna need. And then we'll head to the stateful part of our page and set up the Amplify configure code. Basically, this sets up an Amplify instance and then it configures the authentication and storage plugins. It's up to you to wire up the functionality to your own UI, but I've gone ahead and written some of my own. So for example, here is my sign-in view, and the only API that I call is basically amplify.off.signin, and the rest is just standard Flutter code. Same deal with image uploading. I'm using a file picker and then uploading all of that to amplify.storage.upload file. Let's give this app a run and see how it looks. Right, so here's the app that we just built. We're able to sign up a new user. I can do two-factor confirmations. Now when I'm logged into my app, I can actually pick a file to upload and display an image. When I've uploaded a bunch of images, I can open any one of them and view them. And that's it for my Amplify Flutter demo. If you want more information, check out the blog post on Dev2 and let me know what other videos you want to see. Bye.